Hey church family, what's going on? It's Pastor Hassan and here's what's coming up in the next few days. And so our next prayer meeting is going to take place on tomorrow, Wednesday, May 19th at 7 o'clock in the, in, in the evening. So uh, please do join us if you're able to. Um, if you can't, um, I just want to encourage you as always to continue uh, steadfastly in prayer. Um, don't just pray for one another, but as you have opportunity uh, as a church family, let us um, pray with one another, even if it's just a pick up the phone and, hey, let's pray together as brothers and sisters in Christ. So that's going to happen. We're going to get together, Lord willing, tomorrow evening at uh, 7. And then uh, following that on Thursday, this will pertain to board members. We're going to meet on uh, Thursday, May 20th at uh, seven o'clock in the evening as well again that only pertains to members of the board and so um yeah check your inboxes for all the pertinent information for that um our normal sort of um uh documents that we look over um, every month and uh i'll send the invitation for that meeting in the next in the next day or so uh, so then following that after Thursday we're into Friday May 21st and Lord willing we'll have a devotional at uh, the latest at nine o'clock in the morning so on uh, Friday May 21st we're gonna look at another section of scripture as we started last week looking at the book of Ecclesiastes we want to look at a passage of scripture that deals with some similar themes uh, from another place in the scripture so um, hopefully it won't be too much of a uh, I, I like to look at it as as not so much a, a bummer or a downer when you think about the way that Ecclesiastes works so much as it is uh, a reality check just being uh, brutally honest about the way life works and so hopefully um, the devotional that happens on Friday as well as the entire series of Ecclesiastes is encouraging um, to, to each of us. So that's on Friday, the devotional, um, May 21st at 9 o'clock. And then we're into Sunday, uh, May 23rd, and our normal sort of Sunday morning rhythm and routine. So this Sunday, we're going to look at Lord Willing on uh, at 10.45 a.m., we'll have our online service posted, and the, the te text of Scripture that we're going to be looking at this Sunday is we'll finish out Ecclesiastes chapter 1. So we'll look at Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 12 to 17. Um, if you want to read ahead in that, or 12 to 18, rather, if you want to read ahead uh, that way. I would encourage you, as I encourage folks from the discussion group, um, the book of Ecclesiastes, you can read through that relatively quickly, even if you just took a couple days and read um, it's 12 chapters, even if you just took uh, a few chapters uh, here, six chapters one day, six chapters the next, you can finish that out, just to give you a, a whole picture of, of what we're going to be looking at together as a church and so at 10 45 we'll get into that we'll have our online service and um and then following that we're going to have our two o'clock discussion group on on zoom uh, but this week normally we would have at four o'clock from four to four thirty we'd have junior church but junior church will not be meeting uh, this Sunday, so you got you got the week off, parents and and kids. But I would encourage you to continue looking at the questions that we've been going on, we've, going over. We've been thinking about how um, God tells the truth. He doesn't. He's not like us. He doesn't. He doesn't lie, um, and he's not like us in the sense that he doesn't make promises that he doesn't fulfill on. Um, everything that he says, he does. Uh, and his word is always true. So I would encourage you to continue working on that. But we got the week off and then Lord willing, we'll pick up the following week. And then we'll finish up Sunday at uh, 630 with our Sunday school class. And so for those of you who are able to join and continue studying through the book of Genesis, that will be uh, profitable for you. And then just a couple quick things. Or really one last thing I want to remind you, uh, you should have received... Um, a nomination letter or just kind of a heads up for us as we approach our annual meeting and approach the time where we normally vote for church officers and so be sure and check your emails for that you should have already received that if you did not uh, receive that via email 
uh, and you are a member of the church, just check your actual mailboxes at your house and uh, that should be on its way. And so I just want to encourage everybody to be much in prayer as we approach this uh, time of the year, as we're thinking about church officers and people to serve as um, leaders in different capacities in the church. We, we do want to uh, realize that uh, the folks that are in leadership uh, will to a significant degree shape uh, the direction of the church and that's not to put too much on leaders but it's simply to state the fact that like it matters like it's important who we have in uh, serving in leadership roles uh, at the church um, granted everybody who's connected with the church ha has a part to play and an important part to play uh, but uh, we want to pay particular attention to um, folks that we're selecting as as leaders. So be much in prayer about that and uh, be much in prayer for uh, the work of the church as we continue to uh, seek to be faithful to what God has called us to do uh, right here in Rexdale and everywhere else that he has us scattered. So that's it, brothers and sisters. Again, uh, love y'all. If you need to get a hold of me, please reach out. Um, hit me up, call my cell phone, um, call me at home. Um, yeah, get a hold of me <laughs> however you need to. And um, if you need to get a hold of the, one of the board members, do that. Reach out to them if there's any needs that they can help you with. And otherwise, uh, continue checking on one another, and we'll, we'll talk with you later. All right, take care, and God bless.